Hello and welcome to SAR Histories, where on the channel today we will be visiting Tamworth's popular St George's Day Medieval Festival. Tamworth's popular St George's Day at Stravaganza was back for 2022, with an exciting new lineup of entertainment which took over the castle grounds, with medieval themed fun for the whole family. Due to the pandemic over the past two years, Tamworth Borough Council Arts and Events team have only been able to offer a virtual events and activities. But this year they returned with a live, jam-packed free programme of entertainment in the hope of building on previous record-breaking crowds. The lineup included all the festival favourites that have led to the event becoming well known up and down the country, such as jousting, archery, a living history camp, walkabout medieval grave diggers comedy, stalls, fairground rides and children's activities. There was a chance to meet St George in the amazing new dragon for 2022 soaring at 3.5 metres long and 2.3 metres high. This animatronic dragon will amuse children with his roaring, tail swinging and eye movements, enthralling the crowds as he roams around the castle grounds. Throughout the day, knights will demonstrate a variety of weapons and combat methods used during medieval battles. Are you here for the fighting? Are you here for the fighting? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll start at the bottom end of society. Men who've just been dragged off to war. Everyone else? Mercenaries? Thank you. So, as, as the Lacey had told you, men are drawn to war. Some are paid, some are sufficient. These poor men at the bottom have been dragged to war by their lord. They have nothing on them but the weapons they would have, also the tools they would have on a day-to-day -day basis. changing their grip, they're changing their... This is a bit boring. This is because this is not their job. This is like watching a professional butcher try and drive Formula 1 race car. It might be unsteady for a bit, but it's going to get very good. There we go. Well done, well done. Now, you two, off you go. a pair, they're working as a team. It's not the man in front of you that gets the hit, it's the man to your side. There's more skill, there's more aggression. These are the men that need to win to get paid, need to protect me to get paid. If they lose, they don't get paid. If I lose, they don't get paid. The Grand Medieval Joust was also backed by popular demand. Festival goers were able to watch the action unfold as competing knights on horseback took to the main arena to show off their jousting skills. You can expect fun displays full of laughs and action, trick riding and stunts, with skilled performances from stunning horses and knights in shining armour. Amazing, so here they are. And in honour of St George's Day, we actually have with us today. 
a character who we're hoping is going to defeat our Dark Knight Lord Pendragon. Yes. Pendragon? Yes. Oh no! Do you not like ice cream? You know he wants to eat it all, don't you? You won't ever be able to eat ice cream again if he steals it. Oh, it's a bit scary. I'm going to move out the way before. Next is turn of Lady Lancelot, away she goes! and activities include workshops, displays and a medieval encampment featuring equipment and living history demonstrations evident during the period. This free annual festival is one of the highlights of Tamworth's impressive calendar of outdoor events organised by Tamworth Borough Council Arts and Events Team and draws thousands of visitors from across the country. Tamworth St George Day Medieval Festival is well worth a visit and will appeal to the younger and older generations. The reenactors are very interactive and will allow you to try on different pieces of armour and holding weapons, giving you a real sense of the early medieval period. If you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Until then. Goodbye.